Hey, fight fans! Welcome back to the Brutally Honest MMA Show, the home of all things MMA. Today, we're diving into the extraordinary world of one of Ireland's rising UFC stars, Ian Machado Gary. But this video isn't just about his jaw-dropping performances in the octagon. It's about the intense drama and peculiar dynamics that unfold behind closed doors. Ian's personal life has become the talk of the town, and it's not just about the fights. Enter Layla Machado, 15 years older at the age of 40, his wife with a story that's as perplexing as it is captivating. From unconventional family arrangements to the influence of Layla's ex-husband, who also happens to be Ian's nutritionist, it's a tale that blurs the lines between the cage and home. Get ready to witness a side of Ian Machado Gary that goes beyond the adrenaline pumping moments in the ring. I'm Az, and today, we're peeling back the layers of the UFC star's life to explore the complexities, controversies, and captivating moments that define his journey. Stick around, this is a story you won't want to miss. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and let's jump into the extraordinary world of Ian Machado Gary. Ian Machado Gary was born in Port Marnock, Ireland on the 17th of November 1997 and started training boxing at 10 years old. When Conor McGregor drew attention to MMA in Ireland, Gary was inspired to try judo to expand his martial arts skill set. He became a black belt in judo at the age of 18. After attending university for a couple of months, he dropped out to focus on martial arts. He had his first amateur bout shortly after he turned 19 and debuted professionally at the age of 21. Ian's journey from cage warriors to the UFC was nothing short of spectacular. With eight victories under his belt in cage warriors, he claimed the welterweight championship before stepping onto the UFC stage in 2021. However, the plot thickened during UFC 276 when Bruce Buffer's introduction of Ian as Ian Machado Gary sparked curiosity among fans, leaving them wondering if he had ditched his previous nickname, The Future. Commentator John Anik shed light on the situation, stating, His wife, Layla, is Brazilian, and Machado was her last name. She has a son who also has Machado in his name. Initially perplexing to some, this revelation became fodder for jokes about the Irish fighter's unconventional decision. Contrary to the assumption that Ian adopted his wife's ex-husband's surname, it's crucial to clarify the misconception. Machado is actually Layla Anna Lee's maiden name. While some find the situation puzzling, Understanding the backstory adds a new layer to Ian Machado Gary's unique journey in and out of the cage. So who is Ian's wife? Layla was born as Layla Machado in London, England on the 22nd of March 1983 to a Brazilian mother and an English father of Irish and Scottish descent. Moreover, in 2014, the television presenter got married to Richard Cullen. Shortly afterward, Layla and Richard were blessed with a son named Lucas as well. Unfortunately, their union did not last long, with the two parting ways sometime later. Richard would later move back into the family home with Ian and Layla. Reports say that the couple started seeing each other at the end of 2020 and have been together since the beginning of 2021. They have been together throughout the 25-year-old Irishman's rise to the top of the welterweight division. More recently, the couple have been making headlines for the controlling behavior that fans have noticed during interviews. You know, the, the team that you have kind of come up with was Chris, was Carl Pindred. And what, what will it be like for you fighting and not having, you know, we know Chris feels this booming voice. We hear it every time, you know, there's a Team KF guy fighting. What will it be like for you to not have that in the corner, not have that voice with you? <laughs> it's, dude, it's something again. <laughs> I'm... I don't know. It's something that... What can I say? Am I allowed to say this? Wife? <laughs> In his interview, that dude, you're the top UFC fighter here, bro. Answer what you want. And during footage from one of their social media posts, we learned that ex-husband and father of Layla's first child has moved into the family home to become Ian's nutrientist. During this footage, it appears that Ian made some comments that suggest he isn't comfortable with this very bizarre setup. <laughs> Because then it f rains me about it because sh f you. No, don't bring it up to me. I don't want to know about it. I'm going to cry. I'm kind of You cry with him. <laughs> Go try on your ex-husband's ass. <laughs> my, new, my new boyfriend. <laughs> my new boyfriend. Literally, like, I'm sorry, but no. Like, I, I love you and I will be there for you for so much of life. 
But you have no time. But I have this. zero time for this <laughs> Because if it's true, I will sit down and go, right, we need to talk about it. If you were a controlling, manipulative if you had control of my funds, if you were so controlling that I didn't have a wag, if you had any of these things, if any of them were remotely true, I'd sit down and give you time for conversation. If anybody gave you, a, a spoke about any point that is remotely true, and they have any understanding of it where they've met us and actually spoke to us and talked about it, then you have a legit reason to sit down. But if it's some fat wanker with a beard talking about something online, that I'm running. That the could have said online, he wants to make a podcast about it. Let the let let it be. During the same footage, Ian also claims that Layla is not a wag, which is a British term for wives and girlfriends of athletes, aka gold diggers. Back in 2012, Layla released a book titled "How to Be a Wag: The Ultimate Guide to Catching the Man of Your Dreams." And as we wrap up this exploration into Ian Machado Gary's world, it's evident that certain aspects of his life are still a puzzle. The complexities of sharing a home with Layla's ex-husband raise questions about the dynamics at play. It's clear that there are unresolved issues and Ian finds himself at a crossroads. As we cheer for his success in the cage, let's also hope that Ian can find the strength to address these personal challenges. The fight continues, not just in the octagon, but in the pursuit of a harmonious life outside of it. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the life of a rising UFC star. Subscribe, like, and share your thoughts below. We'll be eagerly awaiting the next chapter in Ian's journey. Until then, encouraging you to face your battles head on inside and outside the ring. Stay brutal. Here's to the fighters, the fans on the game. Here's to the blood, sweat, and tears on the fame. And here's the eyes and key, you're ready to go on the brutally honest MMA show.